Hi, once again, welcome to the Asian Wellness of SPA Academy Screencast. And the uh, topic for today's presentation is about the AUSA client referral system. Uh, this came about because just very recently, we have been encountering a lot of challenges pertaining about persons claiming to have referred to us this or that person. And then afterwards, uh, these same people start claiming from us exorbitant referral fees. And worse, when questioned about the legitimacy of their uh, referral that they have done with us, they started making threats. And so we believe and we feel that we have to come up with the guidelines uh, as to what are legitimate and illegitimate form of referral system when it comes to the uh, Asian Wellness and SPA Academy. So here you are. Uh, we define referral to be something like client referral is a method of promoting products or services. Meaning to say, the person who is going to refer us to clients is that for the purpose of uh, making a, clo a, a, a um, close um, agreement with that concerned party. And that, of course, there are nitty gritty about that, which we are about to discuss in a little while. Now, there are two types of referrers, referrers as I should say. Uh, number one, mayroon po tayong tinatawag na hearsay type. And the other one is what we call as business type. So, what are those? The hearsay type are type of referrers that uh, refers a person or group of persons in an informal approach. Say, for example, by making a text or even a call by phone. And they simply rely heavily on grapevine about the need of this or that establishment for a training. And another one, uh, they normally do not exert enough or tangible effort pertaining to closing a sale. Now, what do we mean by business type? Uh, in the business type of referrers, uh, these people show deliberate effort to help close deal between the client and the Asian Wellness and SPA Academy. They also help write a proposal and even arrange for a meeting where all parties involved are, are gathered and then pertinent issues about the business and the training are being discussed upon. And of course, they are expected to also make a constant follow-up until such time that a deal is made or closed. Now, what are the requirements for a valid AUSA referrer? In our list, number one, there must be a letter of intent. Uh, in that letter, it should be stated the purpose, the desire of the person concerned to be an AUSA referrer. Another one, uh, it should be attached with a resume or by data because there are times that people who will come and see us or even uh, text us or send us messages are people whom we do not really know. And of course, we have to see their valid IDs and so on. Pertaining to the people that we would like to refer with us, we need to have a list of this person's concern and even the contact number so that we can also, we will be also able to validate whether they know these people or not. And of course, we also expect for a written agreement pertaining to compensation because this is where the problem comes in later on. Later on. Now, are they both compensated? Now, we're talking about the... the uh, the informal and the formal referrer. Uh, well, yes, uh, we give compensation to both, but on a varying degrees, no? Because if you are just there to just give or drop a name or number, then perhaps you could just give a little. But if you work hard for it, then our referral uh, fee may go as far as 300. But that all depends on the effort being made by the person concerned. And it has also to be approved by the office, of course. What are the conditions for compensation? So here in, uh, in this list, we can see that there must be a contract of training to the uh, party concerned. And then we only accept direct referral. Now, let me repeat that. We only accept direct referral. Now, if you're what uh, the person that whom you refer to is... Uh, referred by somebody else, then uh, that makes it uh, indirect and we do not allow that. 
Of course, there must be a written request for compensation pertaining to the persons concerned or uh, the spa concerned for that matter. And of course, this would be under subject for approval. Uh, regarding the release of this, the, the referral fee, we apply the 50-50 arrangement. No? Uh, once the training starts, we give out the 50% per, uh, percent of the amount that is due to, this, to that particular person. And then another 50 is being released right after the person was, is able to finish the program. I hope that's very clear. Now, if and when there would be questions, problems, challenges even, then we request the concerned parties to, to put it in writing. And expect once the letter or the, the written uh, concern is being submitted to the office, expect for at least two weeks for us to make action on it. And we do hope that our decision pertaining to that would be final and executory. So they're your friends, maraming salamat, and we hope that this will make things clear for those who would like to work with us. We do welcome people who would like to refer to us, their friends or their uh, their work workmates or even spa establishments to to do to, to request East and Wellness and Spa Academy to do training for them. We welcome that very much and we offer to you a very hefty compensation provided that you work with us hard enough so that we're able to also close a sale. Give it up. Maraming salamat po and babuhay.